Welcome to the HyperWorks 2024.1 introduction videos. This video is about parts, how they operate, and how you can progressively adopt them. From a couple of versions, we have introduced an extra entity called parts which coexists with components. Parts can be considered as a super component, enabling performance speedup for large BOMs, AI, automation, and collaborative work. From now the video will be divided into five chapters in order to dive into some parts specific capabilities. To start with an important point, as long as you are not familiar with parts, you can work with components as they still own elements and nodes. The recommended method to link properties and elements is to use assign properties. That said, some capabilities have definitely been moved to parts. Especially, the model hierarchy has been moved to part assemblies under the part browser. Part browser shows part assemblies, formerly the assemblies, the parts, and the components. Once you are comfortable with parts, you may hide the components in this browser through the preferences. Let us see another benefits of parts when working with BOMs. Preview can now be used in order to speed up display of large BOM files. Using representation dash load dash from session and picking display allows you to preview your CAD. Note that it is only a preview mode. Geometry Edition is not available until you load the CAD representation. You can load CAD representation at any time from any selection of parts. Once loaded, the display of these parts will be slightly different, with thinner edges compared to parts in preview mode only. Also, Geometry Edition, Mesh Operations will be enabled for parts with CAD representation loaded. Let's jump to AI capabilities. HyperMesh includes a shape-based AI algorithm, which allows to detect and instance similar parts. This detection of similar parts and creation of instances can be done through the Match tool. Instance main goal is to save time. If you modify one of the part belonging to an instance, you just need to sync it with other instances to replicate the changes. See how the removal on one part can be propagated to its symmetric part. Another tool leveraging AI attributes of parts is Classify, which allows to train HyperMesh to distinguish parts based on their shape, eventually to sort future geometries based on mesh requirements. Let's now have a look at automation capabilities. Using Part Browser in combination with Batch Mesher and Material Library, you can automate mesh creation, including material and property assignment. These automated steps will rely on parts attributes called PDM data. These PDM data can be inherited from PLM system or CAD, or populated in HyperMesh session. Let's look at any part of the model. It has three PDM data of interest. PDM material. If using representation a material with this name will be populated, if not existing, and assigned to the part. PDM thickness. 
We'll define the thickness value for 2D mesh representations. If blank, hypermesh will compute thickness form solid height. Otherwise, PDM thickness value will be used. PDM mesh flag, a free field that can specify the representation control to apply. This flag can be populated by classify once you train hypermesh. Please note the model does not contain any material or property information yet. Now to create a mesh from this solid, you can create a representation using a representation control. A representation control is the set of settings for a given mesh strategy. 2D mesh, mid mesh, tetra mesh, and for a target mesh size. Once you choose your representation of interest it is sent to the batch mesher. For instanced parts, a single instance is sent, then the mesh will be applied to all instances when batch mesher is complete. Look at the model. In addition to the mesh that replaces the CAD, a material and a property have been assigned to this part. Please note the material is currently populated with default values. Load the material from your material library or from Altair Material Data Center to update its attributes. Before concluding this video, let's give you a hint about collaborative work. Parts are stored in libraries that can be shared across different team members. This library management allows to support part versioning. Also, you can use tools such as model verification or comparison to compare an existing BOM with a new package from your CAD department in order to quickly identify the changes to be reflected to the mesh. As a conclusion, please keep in mind you can embrace parts at your own pace. First step is to consider them as replacement for component and assemblies, especially by using the part browser to review model hierarchy. The second direct benefit is to rely on instances in order to synchronize similar parts, including symmetric ones. You can then take benefits of automated mesh methods, including property and material assignment. Next step is to introduce collaborative work through shared libraries and versioning of parts. Last, and especially for large structures, you can simplify the connection between hypermesh and your PDM system.